Good morning. Uh, this is the sermon I'm planning to give on August 1st, 2021. During the pandemic, one of the things I missed most was eating with people, having a few friends over for a barbecue or making the choice to stop at a restaurant when my spouse and I would be out getting errands done, sharing Holy Communion at the altar rail. Good times. As Joni Mitchell says, don't it always seem to go that you don't know what you've got till it's gone. Sharing food. As the months of pandemic have evolved, small concessions were made in our world in order to eat together. And this absence of shared communal feeding has exposed a very human need, which I think is also a very holy one. As we look at the reading from Exodus today, we encounter the familiar tale of the Jewish people escaping slavery in Egypt, only to experience hunger in the desert. A good and gracious God who has provided for their welfare, um, overlooks their frequent and pointed complaining and provides quail in the evening and manna in the morning to allow them to be fed, nourished, and rejuvenated for the task which is before them. Uh, the people are still a bit confused what this white stuff is that lays on the ground in the morning, that they can eat and be sustained. They ask, what is it? Instead of stuffing their mouths with the stuff. And Moses says to them, it is the bread that the Lord has given you to eat. I'm glad to remind you of this meaningful account of the chosen people as we take a moment to ponder Holy Cross Lutheran Church and my tenure with you these last seven and a half years. And bread that the Lord has given us is a good place to start. In these past years, the memories that will stay with me are filled with Shrove Tuesday pancake suppers, so much fun, such great collaboration with other churches and lots of young people. They're filled with Easter dinners, a gathering that started with a few folk, folks with no major plans for dinner, but found a way to create a space for community and care. Uh, my memories include Thanksgiving Eve dinners that started small with our friends at Manantial de Aguas Vivas and grew to be more than 200, mostly neighborhood people, fabulous tamales, turkey, and more, and even featured a mariachi band. My, my memories also overflow with holy communion moments. The time ants had found their way to the chalice from which I drank, then there was the time that I noticed we were running out of wafers that I was handing out, and so I scanned the congregation to stare down the closest altar care person to will them to make eye contact with me and ask them to scamper back to the sacristy to bring some more. The times when young people helped me at communion, sometimes very young, who placed the wafer in an open hand in front of them or offered the cup. And some of them even tried to say, the blood of Christ shed for you. My memories include placing the bread in the palm of saints of God who have died and I miss them. All that we have done in these years has been about the bread that the Lord has given us to share. And the account in today's gospel goes into detail about the actions of the people who were witness to Jesus' miracle of the loaves and fishes that we covered last week. An action that fed them miraculously, but sadly, 
this miracle seems to have been received with some mixed messages. Jesus picks up on it. The witnesses to that miracle are looking diligently for Jesus, but not because they have found faith, but rather they just want to be around when the next miracle happens. It made them feel special, I suppose. Jesus takes the time to remind them of the miracle of manna in the desert. Not from Moses' hand, but from God's hand, saying, for the bread of God is that which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. This is the big idea Jesus brings that changes things for all believers. When God feeds us, it's not about us, or at least not just about us. God feeds us well and joyfully in order that we might offer life to the world, whether that be in food, in showing care and concern, or in direct personal outreach to folks who struggle. The bread from heaven offered to us cannot be for ourselves alone. If we hoard it or hang on to it, we're missing the point, and like manna kept in clay jars for another day, it will certainly spoil. What am I talking about? Mercy. Mercy means love that responds to human need in an unexpected or unmerited way. Like food, like caring, Jesus shows us in these passages that once we truly experience mercy to its fullest, our open hands pass God's bounty onto the next soul and the next in true sharing. These pandemic months exposed a deep need within us all, a need for connection, for sharing, for being part of God's mission of care in the world. Manna and mercy. It's what God is about. It's what we are about. It's what Holy Cross must be about going forward. Thanks be to God. Amen.